Patricia with a Y with today's episode. I'm back. Did you miss me? Actually, I know from some of the emails and Facebook messages I got over my hiatus that you did miss me. And I am really sorry for the time I took away for making me worry uh, while I was away on hiatus. Uh, it was a necessary time uh, for really finding the focus and the tools and the purpose uh, behind Triumphant Tales. So well, I'm sorry that I uh, made you worry by being away for uh, longer than I intended. I really hope that you are going to have found it worth the wait. Now for those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is, as my new intro says, Patricia with a Y. And by day I am a business advisor and certified business coach for a federally funded nonprofit. By night and on weekends, I am a triumph coach, speaker, and author living a life of joy and purpose. And my purpose is really quite simple. It's to encourage entrepreneurship through education and empowerment. And that is really what this show is all about. This online video show deals with the entrepreneurial and emotional strategies to triumph over TAR. Now, those are acronyms. I kind of love acronyms. TRIUMPH stands for Together Resolving to Inspire Unstoppable Magic, Purpose, and Hope. And TAR stands for Toxic Abusive Relationships. And that is both an acronym and an apt summary of exactly what TAR is. Tar is dark, sticky, and difficult to remove, just like toxic, abusive relationships. I know because I've lived through several, but that's behind me now, and now I am so grateful to be living a life of joy and purpose. I just want to help others to do it too. I want to help you do it too. And so in each 15 minute episode, I'll be sharing a life lesson, something maybe that I've learned over the last 19 years of working at home or from the time that I spent living in and recovering from my own toxic abusive relationships. And in addition to the lessons of my own that I'll be bringing you, I'll be bringing you stories of triumph from other experts in the field. And in some cases they will be tar survivors, in other cases they won't be. But they will all give you something that is challenging and helpful in growing your business, your parenting, your budget, your recovery. It's going to be aimed at helping you to live the life that you're looking for. And so that is Triumphant Tales in a nutshell. Now we're gonna jump to the lessons learned uh, portion of the show. Over the hiatus, I learned a lot. Uh, I don't think that I could even begin to get into the lessons that I did learn without going over my own self-imposed 15 minute uh, episode limit. So I will keep it to this. It takes a team to build a dream. That is pretty much what I learned over my hiatus. Now, I originally went off the air because I really wasn't happy with the production or the quality of the original five shows. I was home producing them and I wasn't happy with the way that they were turning out, so I wasn't sharing them. 
and so I upgraded and I've hired RSAV and a multimedia VA to help me with the editing of the show. I've upgraded a little bit of the equipment and I am still doing it from my home office on a low budget, but I hope that uh, upping the quality will make it so that I can take a little more pride in it and share it a little more because I really do think this message and the message that of the guests that I am finding and bringing on uh, to help you with uh, bringing you hope and healing. I really want to do the best for them and for you that I can. And so now that I'm back, I have hired Carol Renee Waters to be my editorial virtual assistant and I've hired Emily Nain to come on board and be the lead triumph coach of daytime hours. I realized that uh, working my full-time job I really can't fully service all of the women out there who need uh, help and assistance in figuring out that next part of their journey so uh, Emily Nain is in excellent addition to the team and you can read about Carol and Emily at patricia.com. You can check out their bios and hire them uh, for their services at patricia.com. And so with that, I will take it to the sponsor. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show and uh, you'll hear about the importance of building a strong team uh, around you from our very first guest on the uh, comeback episode of Triumphant Tales, Ellie Burkoff is a coach and uh, you'll hear all about her and her escape from poverty over the last five years after this message from our sponsor. Are you in need of the services of a local locksmith? Do you have a key or lock related emergency and you need help in a hurry? If you're unfortunate enough to be locked out of home, whether you've lost your keys or it's broken in the lock, you need a locksmith you can rely on to provide help fast, no matter what time of day or night. A professional locksmith doesn't just get you out of a tight spot. We can also repair and service your locks and fit new high security locks and deadbolts where needed. A professional locksmith can also advise on the best locking system for your needs. But above all else, we help people feel safe and secure. So don't panic. If you have a key related emergency, contact us now for a complete peace of mind. So welcome back to Triumphant Tales. We are here with Ellie Bursco, and she has a story of triumph in that she is a coach for personal trainers, and she concentrates a lot on the mindset, but her own story is one that is really one to listen to because she's moved from what was essentially poverty, uh, being on the equivalent of welfare over there five years ago, to this year, five years later, hitting that half a million dollar in business mark. So thank you uh, for joining us and for sharing your story with our viewers. So if you could go back in time to where you were five years ago and describe uh, what that was like and what it took to change to come to this point. Okay, cool. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, so yeah, I, I was on uh, welfare here. It's called Centrelink. So uh, like government payments, basically. Uh, my partner was on a tourist visa, he's from Portugal, so he wasn't allowed to work even though he wanted to. And I just had my first child, so I couldn't work. Um, I literally like just had her. <laughs> so it was during this time that I realized I didn't want to go back to working for someone else. I'd been working in call centers, um, doing sales and I was getting paid around five or 600 Aussie dollars a week, which is probably about three, maybe 300 US. I didn't want to be going back to making hardly any money based off someone else's rules, making someone else rich and putting my daughter in daycare every day. So I decided at that time, um, because of that, that I wanted to do my own thing. And also I decided that I never wanted to be in that position that I was in again. So I remember one day, and I guess this was my turning point, my partner got a letter in the mail saying that his visa wasn't approved and we had to go through a re review tribunal. And I remember curling up on the floor, like just crying 
and thinking, why does all this bad stuff keep happening to us? And I decided then and there, I can have that victim mentality and think, okay, everything bad keeps happening. I'll just stay stuck where I am. Or I can choose option two, which was, I'm going to create a better life and lifestyle for my family and, and never be in this position again. So obviously I chose option two. I started studying to be a personal trainer myself um, when my daughter was very young. She was only three months old when I started studying. And when I finished my personal training course, I started my own business one week out of um, PT college, personal training college. So uh, most people were going to work in gyms. I didn't want to do that because that was just still working for someone else. I wanted to do it myself had no idea what I was doing um, and ended up investing in a mentor early on and just worked really hard. I had that away from motivation to just push, 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 get away from where I was. And I created a hundred thousand dollar business in under a year. Um, then in my second year, I grew it to 200,000. And that's when I started coaching personal trainers and coaches to grow their businesses because of the success that I'd had. So uh, I ran the two businesses for quite a while up until last year and then realized that, uh, that it was just too hard running the two businesses. So since last year, I've just been doing the business coaching and the results have skyrocketed since then. That is awesome. And so what do you attribute your success to? I mean, for people that are, you know, on the outside looking in, it looks so easy. And as you talked about, there were hard times. It wasn't just a, you know, here I am and there I am. There were some, what do you think was the most unexpected challenge that you came across? And you said that you got a mentor earlier on. Uh, How did you find your mentor? I guess starting out, you think it's all about the strategy and I've realized over the years, it's more about the mindset. And so I have invested a lot and worked on my mindset a lot and personal development to not only get the results that I have and the success that I have, but to come become the person who I am today. Uh, so uh, answering your second question with the mentor, uh, I found I found him and I found most of my mentors on, on Facebook. It was a husband and wife team and they really helped me to motivate me to get the results I did early on. Uh, And I think having that commitment and investing in yourself really makes you step it up and go out and and make it work. Uh, The first thing I did with him was $1,000. And to me back then, like $1,000, you could have said 100,000. Like it was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um, We were getting $500 a week from, from Centrelink, so from government payments. 300 went to rent and the rest was for everything else. I was running and cycling everywhere just to get to my my boot camps that I was running, to do to drop flyers around, to to do everything I needed to do to grow my business. So it was it was tough and I was only making a couple of hundred dollars a week. And then I invested I that thousand dollars I didn't have. So he helped me to take action to make the money, ended up paying it off bit by bit. And yeah, then I didn't look back. Like he was, they really, really helped me back then. And I've had plenty of mentors since. I've probably spent about $150,000 over the last five years in my own personal development and different business courses uh, to get where I am today. I would say invest in yourself early on if you feel like you can't afford it. Like there is a lot of free, valuable content out there. Uh, I would say just put some steps in place and really hustle to make that first bit of money so that you can invest in yourself because it's just, it's so good to have someone on your side to hold you accountable and someone who's made the mistakes before that can help you get there so much faster than what you'd be able to do alone. And the other part of it as well is usually mentors have like a community. So you'd be part of a Facebook group or a mastermind or something like that. Just being surrounded by other like-minded people helps you believe that you can do it as well. Whereas if you're just working from home behind your laptop or whatever, it gets really lonely and it's really hard to do it by yourself. So you need to surround yourself by those positive like-minded people who some of them might be where you're at but also people that are further ahead of where you're at as well. So you believe that that's actually possible for yourself as well. 
That is excellent advice. And as we end up here, because we do like to keep the episodes nice and short so that uh, our viewers can consume them in that little 15 minutes of time that they can manage to grab for themselves. Uh, where can we find you? If we have somebody out there that is looking for into getting into personal training as their business and thinks that you'd be a great coach, and I think you would be. I mean, going from uh, poverty to half a million dollars in five years is incredible and you should be very proud of yourself you. uh, and uh, how can we reach you uh, yes yeah, so I'm mainly on Facebook my Facebook page is uh, Ellie Bursco PT mentoring I also have a free group on Facebook which is called the community of kick-ass action takers uh, and the website is ptmentoring.com.au Thank you so much for joining me and uh, for sharing because I mean this is so important in the process is to see people who have gone uh, from one level to the next level and to see that it is possible and you're living proof and thank you for taking the time to share that with us and uh, I'm just and, and grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you know, in saying that as well, uh, like I said before, I had those ups and downs. So once you get your mindset in the right space and really focus on your business, that's when I, I dropped the, the fitness business around that time as well. And just have that focus and simplicity, work on your mindset and work on sales. You can get very, very fast results. Awesome. Thank you again so much. And that brings us to the end of the comeback episode of Triumphant Tales. Thanks so much to our guest, Ellie Burkoff, and our sponsor, Pick Me Locking Key. They are a local uh, locksmith to the White Court area, but he does like to remind you that you should look up your uh, local journeyman locksmith in your area. Now, before we head out, I would like to start the habit of putting out a triumph challenge for the week. And this week, I'd like to build on that theme of it takes a team to build a dream and it encourage you to reach out to someone in, it could be in your real life, it could be in your online life, make a connection this week to start building your dream team. Thanks so much for joining me. I am Patricia with a Y. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Triumphant Tales. While you're still pumped up from this episode, be sure to write down your triumph task and connect at patricia.com for this week's triumph tools. Until next time, stay safe and think free.